our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger, probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it. How about you screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders? Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. So where is he? He? Oh, you mean the cube. Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly, I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. A stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, Ben. That'll work, too.
gonna need a suit. I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues. No gravitational pull. Nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. And the planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. Surface too. What a strange place. It's impressive, really. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. Look, there's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. <laughs> the suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. It's 
falling apart. It all looks strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. This place was made for humans. It's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. I would appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. The old man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong, but he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. <laughs> 